Hi, my name is Kate Bendewald with Designers Oasis. This month, we are focused on all things organization in your business. The start of the year is a great time to sort of clean house and get yourself set up for a successful year ahead. Today, we're going to look at how we organize the back end of our interior design business using Asana. Now, I've already created a video showing you how you can use Asana to organize your projects and client information, and I'll link to that video below. But you and I both know there's so much more to running a business. So how do you organize information and tasks like maintaining your website, business development, your services and rates, and so on? Well, today I'm going to show you how. The thing that may surprise you is how I use Asana. Most think of it as simply a task management tool, which it is. But today I'm gonna to show you how I also use it as a repository of information with task capabilities. Think about your tech stack for a moment. You probably use tools like Google Drive, Canva, Squarespace, and don't forget all your social media links. For us, Asana is home base where all of those links live alongside tasks, notes, PDFs, and so on. So let's dive in and I'll show you how. All right, let's dive in. So before we get started and showing you the back end stuff, I wanna just show you kind of the home screen and where things are organized. So this is home for me, this is where I always start. And you'll see that at the top, it'll show tasks that are coming up soon that are due. Um, below you have favorites, you can customize these and, and what is showing up here simply by starring it. I can show you that in a minute. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can customize these thumbnails or icons to the color selections that you want and then the little icons. Uh, I use the free version of Asana. I suppose with the pro version, there might be some more customization to this. Um, but for now, um, I am content with the free version and this is uh, what I can do there. Now, on the left, you'll see a couple of things. You have my tasks. I go in there quite a bit because it takes everything from every project and kind of squeezes it up into there so I can see a bird's eye level of what's going on. Um, down below here, we've got team. So I've got the Kate Bendewald interior design team, designers oasis, personal, and then I put templates down here and I move them up as necessary. Um, today, we're gonna focus on the Kate Bendewald interior design team. I have two projects that I use and I'm gonna share those with you and then the rest of those are client projects. And we're not gonna get into those because I've already created a video for that. So real quick, I want you to kind of switch your brain for a minute and instead of thinking of these as projects, I, I want you to think of them as zones because we're gonna put evergreen information in here that you are going to continue to access. It's not gonna be a project that eventually ends and gets archived, right? So this is just, where all of this information is going to live. So I'm going to show you two areas today. It's the business uh, project or zone and the company guidebook. So let's get into each of these real quick. Okay, so here I'm going to show you just a couple of things um, before we get into what all I um, put in here. First, you may open Asana and you have the list view. It is the default view in Asana it's not my personal favorite. I prefer the board view. If yours is showing up as a list, I'm gonna show you how to change it. First, you just go over here and you click board so that you get to the view that you want. And then if you use this drop down menu, you can select save layout as default. And that way, every time you come here, it will look like this. And the other thing you can do, if you click the star here, that would create, uh, a f that makes it one of your favorites and that's how it shows up in your home screen. So those are just a couple of things uh, to get you started. The other thing that I do is I create created these thumbnails across the top. It visually helps me understand what's happening in these different sections. And you know I love a template, so yes, I have created a template for you to use uh, so you can customize your own little thumbnails on top. I've um, stripped away the color so you can put your own brand colors, but I've left the icons and the names which you can customize. So designersoasis.com, you will find that link. Okay, so let's dive in to the information below. Here are the different sections. We have admin. This is all of the things that my assistant does for me. Here are all of my admin tasks, my Kate to do. And you'll see things like 
um, quick reference links, business and financial. And you could get into this information kind of one of two ways. If you just want a quick look, you can look at here and you can see what are the things that I need to do in the world of business and financial related to my business. Remember all project admin and to do, you're gonna, I'm gonna find that information in the project uh, sections, client project sections. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can click into it and sort of get more details. Um, the description area is really an area that keeps most of my details. So here, um, all of my questions for my bookkeeper, I keep them linked to a Google Doc um, here and I know where to find that. Okay, so this is a good example of how we're using this as a, as a repository of information. Here, all of the W9s from people that I need. Um, I've got subtasks here that I can select. Of course, giving yourself a due, a due date is super helpful um, as well as links to anything that you might need to gather that information. Next, we have the reference column, and this is all of the information that is really necessary to have on hand for quick reference, and it's sort of broken out into different types of information, okay? Okay, moving on, we have business development. You may be saying, Kate, I, I thought you used Dubsado for business development. You betcha, I absolutely used Dubsado for business development. But a lot of times I just want like a quick snapshot of who are we in conversations with and kind of what's the status of those conversations. Okay, next we have internal projects. And I love this section because a lot of times we'll have projects happening in-house such as website updates, for example, or if we're working on hiring a new team member. This is where I put that information and it is a, it is a constantly evolving little um, column of projects that are going on. Now, I wanna point something out to you here. You see this little um, colored icon here. Well, one neat thing that you can do in Asana is a lot of times there's not a real neat place for um, a task to go. So for example, website updates, you'll see on my company guidebook, I also have a section specifically about my website. You can assign a task to two different sections or projects. So. This, I have assigned this also in the company guidebook under website, so it shows up in both places. And if I make any changes here, they're gonna also show up in the company guidebook, which we'll get into in a moment, right here. And the way you do that is, when you click into it, right here it says projects, you can do the little plus sign, and you can pick which project you want it to go into. Keep in mind, it's only gonna put it onto this company guidebook project. I had to actually move it over to the website column over here, but it's a quick little thing that you can do. And now you've got this um, task living in both places so that they relate to one another. So I like that tip. Here we've got Ivy training, um, and these are you know videos and workflows, both things that we've created as well as uh, tools and resources that Ivy has created that we keep uh, on hand for quick reference. And finally, we have SOPs, standard operating processes. You have these in your business, right? So um, right now we're in the process of sort of cleaning these up and reorganizing these. So there's um, actually quite a bit more and these are all in the process of getting worked through. Um, but anytime we standardize a process in our business, it's gonna live here and Generally speaking, one of two things, and again, I mentioned we're in the process of working through these, so there are uh, some placeholders and are here right now, but generally speaking, we'll have a link here that goes to Google Drive to the original file, right? The one that we can edit, and then we'll also attach the PDF if we have that here. So there's a couple of ways that you can do it. Um, it, you can choose to do it that way, or you could actually list out the different steps here, um, but we like to do it in um, a, a Google Doc. Okay, so that is an overview of the business board. Again, it's my assistance tasks, my admin tasks, quick reference, business development, internal projects, and uh, IV training and SOPs. Okay, so let's take a look at the company guidebook. Um, I'm gonna not, we're not gonna get into each and every one of these different tasks, but I'm gonna show you an overview of what kind of information is included here and how it's organized. Keep in mind, everything that I put in here is accessible to my team. So we have about KBID, branding, services and rates, project management, tutorials, social media, website, and design resources. So about KBID, this is 
all of our um, information about our company, our mission, our vision, our core values, our elevator pitch. Remember, we want our team, when they're out and about, to be able to talk about our company in a way that would reflect uh, well on us and really speak clearly to what it is that we do and who we serve. Branding include, includes things like our brand guide. Um, this particular one has an, uh, an image attached, and so that will show up here. I personally like that. If you don't want it to show up, you can click here and do show no image. So that is an option. But here we have a link to the original file in Google Drive so that if we need to edit it for any reason, we can do that. Uh, we have the PDF attached here so that we can um, uh, easily reference that and then our uh, quick reference, our hex colors for our brand, um, for from our brand guide. Services and rates. So this is our investment guide. I more commonly refer to this as your uh, services and pricing guide, uh, our welcome kit, our information about the different services that we provide. Project management. So this is gonna be all of the tools that we use on a regular basis to help with projects. So linking to Google Drive to a lot of templates. So we have our project management timeline. We have our budgeting tools, our vendor list, and um, this is a template. So if we're gonna do a designer for a day project, we can borrow this template, kind of move this where we need to move that to. Um, remember, we talked about, or I talked about earlier that uh, we, link to all sorts of things, to Canva, to Google Drive. And here's an example of where I'm linking to Airtable because I love to use Airtable for some things and Google Sheets for another. Um, but here this shows my, um, you know, the brands that we all have, that we have trade accounts with. Okay, tutorials uh, such as InDesign and SketchUp. So here I can link to any, like I, I purchased a SketchUp course, I can access that. Uh, social media, our pillar content and our hashtag library, uh, a link to our image bank and our portfolio. Um, website, uh, again, this is that project that I pointed to earlier that's actually in our other um, little zone. Uh, it's linked here as well. Um, our homepage, about page and services, this is gonna link to all of the um, Google Docs that has our copywriting. So if we're working on a change uh, of the copy, um, we'll do it in a Google Doc first, and I highly recommend that. Send it off to the editor to review and redline um, before you actually make any changes on your website. Um, and then design resources. So we have tons of design resources that we use in our business. We are actually in the process of updating a lot of this, um, but we have, you know, this is linking to our paint product and usage guide, so on and so forth. So um, again, yes, a lot of this lives in Google Drive. A lot of it is um, reflective of what you see there, but here it organizes it in kind of a visual way. And then we can also assign tasks. So if there's something on here that is outdated, I can assign a task to somebody and uh, give it a due date and then that disappears, but all this information remains. So um, I hope this helps. I hope that you have found this to be a, a perhaps a new way to use Asana um, and uh, helping keep your business organized. I hope you found today's video useful. Check the link below and that will take you to designersoasis.com where you can grab your customizable Asana thumbnail templates using Canva. Plus you'll find loads of helpful tips, tricks, templates, and more to help you run your interior design business without the hustle. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you get notified next time. Bye for now.